stamp tool is great for fixing large areas of the image that aren't easily fixed with things like the spot healing tool. Now I use the clone stamp tool to minimize the shine on her forehead there. It's still not perfect. I, I wouldn't really want to take this to print just yet, but it's a good step in fixing a really big distraction in the picture. Now, to work with the clone stamp tool, let's look at an easier picture first, just so I can show you how this works. Um, the clone stamp tool is found underneath the brush tool and you can access it using the shortcut key S. We're going to want to make a new layer just like we did with the spot healing tool and we're going to want to have a line sample checked and all layers checked. Just like with the spot healing tool, if you don't have that uh, option up there checked, uh, you won't be able to take a sample or paint anything. So what this does is allow you to take a sample from one part of the picture and paint it over another part of the picture. So I can take a sample of this black rod here by holding down the Alt or Option button to take a sample. And then I can paint over this tag and barcode. And watch it go away. Because this is on a separate layer, anytime we kind of made a little bit of a mistake there, we can just use the eraser tool and erase our minor mistake. Right? Pretty, pretty easy tool to use. So back to our project, what I did to remove the shine from the forehead was to take a sample of another part of her skin that was kind of near that area and then painted it over that shine. I also took samples of part of her hair and painted that into this area here that needed to be filled in by more hair. So here I am on the clone stamp tool. I'm going to make my brush relatively large and I'll use a soft brush. I'm going to hold down the Alter Option button and click on this area of skin here. And then I'm going to paint that area of skin over the shine. Now you can see it's, you know, I started to get a little bit of hair there and the color is a little bit off. So that's why after I clone stamped, I reduce the opacity. And then if I had little mistakes, like see that little area with the hair, I could either cover it up with more hair by taking a sample of the hair and then filling it in. You don't want to go too far though because then you'll get little mistakes like that where you start to see the edge of your document. So remember, we're copying a part of your picture and then we're pasting it somewhere else. So if you go, if you keep on painting without taking a sample, you're going to start to see the edge of your page really quickly. This is why the eraser tool is so useful. You know, when you start to get these little mistakes, you can just kind of go in, erase them, erase, 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 and try and blend your edges.